Well, first of all, welcome and thank you for being here. Oh, really thank appreciate you. it. Um, what does it mean to you to see Encanto shown to hundreds of students at Mike's <laughs> field trip to the movies? Uh, I mean, it's it's kind of mind blowing, right? Because like when this movie came out, like certainly everything was pretty locked down, and then the movie really uh, once it hit Disney Plus, things kind of exploded. So. I was just in that room and to hear all those little voices and to hear laughter and everything with so many different people. It's it's uh it's really spectacular. I want to just actually go hang in there for a while. Many of these kids are underprivileged, and this is the first experience like that they're having like this at a theater like the Arlington. How can art inspire a child? Oh well, I mean, this is a movie where you know we have twelve main characters. They all are different people, different kinds of people, and so I think for a story like this. Um, it's really about trying to help people feel seen, and so I'm hopeful that, that as they're watching it, they're seeing themselves, they're seeing their friends, they're seeing their family members. Um, that's really what the story is about. So it's it's really uh, moving actually to see a, a bunch of different types of people watching it and seeing themselves. Can you talk a little bit about working with this incredible cast, in, including Lynn Manuel? <laughs> yeah. So you know, one of the um, one of the really special things about this story is that we have so many members of our cast from Colombia, or they have roots in Colombia. That was really important in telling this story. Um, and we have some of the, you know, like someone like John Leguizamo, who is such an amazing Bruno, such a tricky character, Stephanie Beatrice, who, you know, I think Mirabel's one of the most human characters we've ever put on screen before. But you have all kinds of different people coming together. And what was crazy is that during the pandemic, we couldn't actually be with each other. Usually you're spending time and so when we had our premiere it was the first time the whole cast had gotten together it really felt like this amazing giant family and of course you have Lynn there and all of the songs that he was able to find and bring out character within each each of those song moments gives our characters a moment to shine and uh, seeing all that come together at, at one point is uh, really kind of blows my mind. Well Lynn has said that um, of all the music Bruno was the easiest for him. It came right together. He felt it right away. Yeah, you know what's crazy is that so every Friday night we would get together with Lynn. He was on Zoom on the East Coast or on the West Coast and he'd put his kids to bed and then we'd hang out for a couple hours. And when we talked about Bruno, he's like, I think I understand what that is. And he literally on the Zoom call turned to a piano next to him and went dun 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 and wrote it in front of us in real time, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, that one was very quick, but I think he had like an idea in his head and then there's all these really fun character moments. So yeah, that one, I'm, I'm so excited that people have, have really been drawn to that because it's such an amazing showcase of all of our different characters and actors. Amazing. Um, what advice would you give to young minds, young students who want to get into the business, who want to be in the arts? Um, you know, I think the most important thing is that um, I think uh, telling your own story is very critical. You know, bring yourself into whatever your uh, whatever type of story you want to tell. I think that fresh voices are so critical. I think Hollywood in general needs that. Um, and so I'd say, bring your own stories. Stay true to yourself. Don't try to tell someone else's story. Like whatever whatever you're excited about, bring that to the screen. Bring that to the page. Uh, we need it. Yeah, that's great. What's next for you? Um, all secret things right now. Oh, um, come I'd come say a uh, tidbit. A tidbit is I'm very excited to be working on the new Moana series that's on Disney Plus. I can't say much more than that, but I will say that I think it's really going to surprise people. It's a very, very exciting, um, very exciting show, and I think people are going to love to get back into that world. Well, Jared, that'll give us something to look forward to. I hope so. Thank you for Encanto. Oh, thank you so much.